Welcome to Danville, Vermont, the birthplace of Thaddeus Stevens. Today we'll be visiting the house site where his family first settled in Danville Center. Following that visit, we will go to South Danville, also known as Green Banks Hollow, where his mother and her, her family moved uh, following uh, the fathers leaving the family. We will then go to Peachum, Vermont, where we will uh, see the law office of Maddox, with whom he associated in the study of law, and the Choate House, where uh, Maddox Law Office was located. We will also meet with Lorna Quimby uh, of the Danville Historic, of the Peachum Historical Society, uh, to go over documents that the Peachum Historical Society owns in relation to Thaddeus Stevens. Uh, we will visit the site of Peachum Academy where he attended secondary school before going to Dartmouth College. We'll visit his mother's grave in the Peachum Cemetery. We will then go to the site where he lived in Peachum while attending Peachum Academy. We'll walk a portion of the road that he walked every day, which was about a half mile up to the village, and then uh, an additional walk up to the school from where he lived. And then we'll go to the farmstead that he purchased for his mother and brother uh, when um, he had made some wealth in Pennsylvania uh, and wanted to give them uh, a gift uh, for their loyalty to him and their support of him. We're at the location of the original Thaddeus Stevens homestead where the family lived in Danville, Vermont uh, in the late 18th century. Um, our friend here, Ann Halstead, actually located what we believe is the foundation uh, of the Thaddeus Stevens homestead, which we'll be trekking to today. And do you want to tell us how you discovered that? Yeah, this is country that I ride horseback a lot in and also snowshoe and ski. And so I was snowshoeing this day and uh, we didn't have much snow on the ground and I happened to look and see a foundation and I went, and I've combed this whole area and have never seen anything, had been told when I first came here from Massachusetts 23 years ago that possibly this uh, foundation just off Penny Lane Road might be the Thaddeus, but that was not so. So we've been looking and I came upon this wonderful, uh, I hope, authentic uh, place where Thaddeus had. It's an erratic stone foundation. It's not cut stone. Uh, which would indicate that it might be a late 18th century foundation, which give, gives it the highest level of credibility as the possible site of his home, his first home, here in Danville, Vermont. Okay, thank you. We are headed down this trail for the uh, foundation of Thaddeus Stevens. Um, we will wind around to the right and then up onto a knoll, and hopefully what we see is what we've hopefully going to approve of as a Thaddeus Stevens spot. Okay. Uh, when we do the deed research to see if this indeed is on the right property, one of the markers will be this line that you see of big trees uh, that go up and down this, this hill with a little remnant of a stone wall. And it might be able to teach us uh, which property would have been the Stevens property. This is the site that I feel is the only site in this whole forest that has a foundation and therefore the credibility of it being what everyone has been looking for in the Thaddeus Stevens homestead in this area and that's why we're here today. How long ago did you discover this? I've probably known about it about eight years now. And I just came upon it and said, well, what is this all about? And then the townspeople in Danville started asking and saying, and I had thought when I first came here, the Thaddeus Stevens was further near the road. And they said, no, Mary Pryor was very instrumental in saying, it is somewhere, there are apple trees, I have that all written down, there are apple trees and so forth. And 
The only place on this whole piece of property that I have ever found an apple tree is on this knoll right behind us. So this is, I was quite surprised to find it myself. There was no other foundation anywhere. Okay, thank you. Okay, so what is that a picture of? Well, that is a picture of the second Peachum Academy building. The first one was on the top of the hill, and that's the one where Thaddeus would have gone to school. But in 1843, they took that down and rebuilt this lower down in the village. Okay, thank you. This man is the president of the Thaddeus Stevens Society in Pennsylvania. Oh, this is the location of the first Peachum Academy building. It is also the building where Thaddeus Stevens attended school. Maddox Law Office and two maiden ladies kept the millinery sh shop on the upper floor. And, and what was Governor Maddox to Thaddeus Stevens? Well, Thaddeus Stevens uh, studied law with Governor Maddox, who took law students in his own personal house over here. This is the house where uh, Thaddeus Stevens lived when he was going to the academy. I do not find any record that his mother owned it or that she owned any animals. I assume that she worked hired out and worked for her and her, her boys board and room. This crossroads is the road that Thaddeus would have taken from his mother's house to walk across to the Bailey Heason Road on his way to the academy. And this is where the road that we were on came out when that Thaddeus Stevens walked on his way to the academy. It comes out on the Bailey Hazen Road, which was uh, built during the Revolutionary War. This is a house and a farm on a hillside outside uh, East Peachum, Vermont, that Thaddeus Stevens bought for his mother in the 1830s. At that time, he had amassed enough wealth so he could purchase this farm for his mother, and he was so appreciative of all that she had done, her sacrifices, to bring up him and his brothers that he purchased this house and this farm, where she lived the rest of her life. She had cows here and got along very well. And um, a beautiful spot in Peachum, Vermont. And this is Sarah. Morrill Stevens gravesite. At one time on the uh, left side there was a photograph of the uh, of Sarah. Unfortunately it has the image is completely been obliterated. When that Sadius gave this lot for his mother's grave he endowed it with the proviso that every year on Memorial Day there should be flowers on his mother's lot.
and to this day, they are there. Thank you.